Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art Channel. Today I'll be demonstrating how I created this painting using a chain pull. Um, this is part of a uh, collaboration uh, with lots of other artists um, called the Mardi Gras Bling It On Parade, organized by Cynthia Porter Studios. Thank you so much for including me. There was a full day of uh, premieres yesterday, lots of artists today, and, and then even more on Tuesday, all in the Mardi Gras theme. And um, uh, I don't think I'll have room in my description box to list the full schedule, but I will for sure list the link uh, uh, to the uh, next video in this premiere uh, from NK Artistry. So I hope you uh, follow along for that. At the end of this video are close-ups of the wet and the dry results. And in the description box below this video is the uh, list of the colors that I've used and detailed descriptions of the technique. I call it the keys to success. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy. Hello everyone. So tonight I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing a painting for my second uh, collaboration. Um, actually, Cindy Porter invited me to participate in this collaboration first before I did the one that happened last weekend. But uh, just the way the calendar <laughs> happened, this will be the second time um, uh, that I do a collaboration. I'm very excited about this Mardi, Mardi Gras colors. Let me go ahead and show you my consistency. So this is my base color. This is Amsterdam um, Olive Green Light. This is Dutch Pour Consistency. Um, as soon as it hits the surface of the paint off of the, uh, the stir stick, it disappears and the stick does not stay end up, it falls over. Um, you'll see lots of air bubbles because I just mixed these paints, so I will be torching quite frequently <laughs> throughout this. So that's my base color. Um, and then I have two other greens. This is um, uh, Arteza uh, Pearl Pistachio. This one is Amsterdam Sap Green. So I have three greens. And then I have uh, Amsterdam uh, Permanent Blue Violet. And then I have Amsterdam's, oh gosh, this is Ultramarine Violet Light. And then Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. So I have three greens, three purples. Then I have Atelier's Payne's Gray which is a very deep blue, almost black. Amsterdam Titanium White. And Joe Sonia's Deep Gold. So first things first, let's put down base coat. Okay, we're gonna start with our white. Let's see, do I wanna go this way? Let's go this way. I wanna go straight down the center here.
first things first, I've got some Mardi Gras beads here. And we are gonna put that right here down the middle. Anchor it here with these fingers and then drag it this way. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that a lot. That turned out really cool. Super happy with that. Okay. And we're going to... So here's the overhead view. This is the orientation I would hang it. I really like the motion of using that chain to go in a semicircle from side to side. I think if I do this again, I'll do it from corner to corner. I think that might be kind of cool too, but um, I'm really happy that the right hand side, I've left quite a bit of that negative space. Um, and it kind of reminds me of if we were to look at it sideways like this, it reminds me of a, a sailfish, the, the top sail. Very cool. Um, yeah, and I love that semicircle. There are, the gold gave us some cells in various places. There's some really nice cells in that area right there. Really pretty. Um, the Dutch pour part did not work out at all like I wanted. I had way too much paint on the canvas. And, but I knew if I continued blowing it or use the hairdryer more, it would have created mud. So uh, I opted to use the chain on it again. And it turned out really cool. A little more muted in the colors, 
and more blended, but still no mud and great details. Be happy with that. Lots of sparkle because of that gold. My um, um, camera stand was in the way, so it left a, I wasn't able to get a clean stroke on it, so it left a little bit of a wobbly line there, but it's okay, actually. And, um, yeah, and on this side, I really love those lines coming down. So very cool. They almost make little arrows in a couple of places as they come out. I love how this area is very light, but dark in the center. This side is very um, much contrasting with uh, the colors, the, the violets with that green. Very vibrant, beautiful. So there we have it. I hope you all enjoy. And um, the next person up in the lineup will be in the description, uh, uh, the video description below. And um, I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, come back and see me sometime.